Hey guys, this is Sims Free Play Design Heaven here again. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run through um, one of my houses. So it's going to be a visual tour of one of my houses. It's this one here. Um, as you can see, I'm starting off in my neighborhood. So oh, just might get that bad boy there before we start. Um, so what we're going to focus on today is this one here. So it's my house on stilts. This is one of my all-time favorite houses. And it's also um, one of my favorites on Instagram. People seem to really love this one on Instagram. So that makes me happy because... I absolutely love it. I have to start off by being really honest with you guys today. I actually didn't come up with the exact idea for this house. I'd, I'd love to claim it. I'd love to say it, but I love giving um giving out love to people who who actually are really creative on Sims. I found this sort of like the idea behind this design on Pinterest. So I've put my photo of this on Pinterest, but there was one, it was kind of, it was very green. So it was kind of the idea of having a house on stilts. The house itself is very different, um, but the downstairs area, this patio section here, is sort of designed, modelled on, on a photo that I saw on Pinterest. And that's the thing with Pinterest, I get a little bit annoyed with Pinterest because I saw that photo and I would love to credit the person that actually came up with it, but it was pinned by somebody else and I couldn't find the original photo. So whoever that person is and if you actually happen to, to see this video one day, I thank you so much because I've, I'm loving this idea of this below patio here. So good on you for coming up with this idea. Um, beautiful. So let's dive right in. So we can see, I'm pretty sure this is Kelly. Let me just check. Yeah, Kelly. Um, Kelly is lying out here. She's uh, having a <laughs> good relax. Look at her. She's loving life right now. Um, she's just kind of, you know, half, not sunbaking, but she's relaxing by the pool, which is, what wouldn't we all want to be re relaxing by the pool? Um, so the idea behind here is I kind of, this I designed this house just after the Latin update, so when the Latin furniture and stuff came, and I just love the, the contrast of the terracotta walls and the terracotta floor and just in the, the side here where the stairs are, and the black, I'm a huge fan of black, and I think it's just really quite striking, and it's very elegant. It's got a really nice elegant feel to it so the idea behind this is that it's actually all outside even though it is a house this whole um bottom floor in, except for obviously this um this room here with the door and the windows that's obviously the start that's the front door of the house but this is all actually outside so um <clears throat> this is you know all outdoor furniture we do have the chess sets there but I like the idea of playing chess outside and there is a phone, but the phone is actually in my mind, like sort of like a telecom to, to upstairs to say, hey, I'm here. Can you like let me in the door? Um, yeah, one of those like outdoor things, you know, in my imag imagination, obviously I'm a bit of a nerd that way. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that was the idea behind here. It's very simple. It's, um, it took me a really long time to actually figure out what colors to put in here. The amount of floors I put down before I got, you know, settled on this black floor was just ridiculous. I went through so much money, but I think it, um, it actually ended up being for the best because I really made sure that I got the best that I possibly could. And I really am happy, um, with the coloring that I have here um so what we might do is go through the front door so we've kind of had a look at the patio here go through the front door and go upstairs so this is the upstairs area this is the living area and you can see that the coloring here is actually it's the inverse of what I had downstairs so it's the opposite of what I had downstairs with the black black flooring downstairs and terracotta walls now we've got the terracotta walls and the black um oh terracotta floor and the black walls I should say um <clears throat> I did for a while have floorboards in here and I put it up on Instagram and I recently posted a picture on Instagram saying, you know, should I go back to the terracotta? Because I was really not feeling the um, the floorboards anymore. And, and quite a few people said, yeah, go back to the terracotta. So here we go. Yay, guys, you got your way. I, <laughs> I went back to terracotta and I'm actually really happy that I did. Um, okay, so let's have a look. This one was actually really interesting to design because it is a circle. And obviously you can't kind of walk between um, the houses, you know, in the air because there's the pool down there. It was really kind of um, hard for me to decide where to put houses or where to put um, each room. Houses, gosh, what am I saying? Each room. Because it was like, where's the walkways? I don't want someone to have to like walk through the bathroom to get to a certain area or walk through like, you know, a weird room that doesn't seem organic, you know, within the confines of a house. So it actually took me a really long time to figure out exactly where to plot each of the rooms. So we might start from the, the very beginning, which is always a good place to start, they say. <laughs> um, okay, so we've walked up here. We've gone through the front door. We've gone through um, up, up the stairs. Um, then we've got the formal dining room. So... Um, 
I've obviously used some of the rugs here, which is really, you know, really lovely. That's actually, I think there's, how many is there? Six rugs there. Um, and I've just kind of put them all together. So they kind of, it makes it look almost like a big rug, except for that slight line in the middle there. But hopefully the chairs cover that. Um, so that's pretty, pretty simple, pretty, you know, elegant looking. Um, then we've got the bathroom. So I went for the black and white theme. I really like the black in this house. I think, you know, that was just one of the big things that I wanted to make sure that um, there was a really, you know, nice, um, uh, I guess, uh, what's the word for it? like strikingness I guess would be the right word for this house I really kind of wanted it to I, I use pop a lot but it is, it's in a different way it's kind of a bit harsher I think which um which is really what I was was after so the only thing I am annoyed about and I was going to put a door here from the bathroom to the bedroom so it was like you know sort of like half bathroom half ensuite but I didn't want it to be a walkway so I decided no look just have the bathroom there it means you are going to have to walk a, a a long way you know if you have a shower to the bedroom but oh well that's you know just the thing you're going to have to do because you know, <laughs> I don't want the bathroom to be a walkway um okay cool so then we're going to go back around here and this is the the kitchen this is one of my favorite kitchens I just I don't know what it is it's like something about the long line of that kitchen is just something that really appeals to me um also I like the idea oh my bad I like the idea of there's actually windows there you can't see them at the moment but when I put the the roof on you'll be able to see them there's two windows there I like the idea of preparing food and looking down at the pool and the patio area um yeah I think that's just kind of really cool I think that would be really like you know really fun way to kind of make your meals in the kitchen there then we're going to go through here so this is sort of like a study area but it's also a walkway it's nothing too formal and then we're going to go in here to the lounge room so I love the lounge room again I've got these beautiful mother of tongue um ferns here I just think it's hilarious that they're called mother of tongue it's like the strangest thing to call a plant but I love it anyway I just like I've said in previous videos I wish I wish I wish that we could you know buy them in the store but you can't so um I've had to buy a couple of latin houses to make sure that I have enough of them to use in my in my design designs but yeah again it's really simplistic um I'm using sort of like the monochrome idea again which is the black and white theme um but the terracotta flooring just really sets it off and I thought that it softens it quite a bit to have that rug in there which is why I've, I popped it in there I'm not a huge fan of the rugs um you'll see that they are in quite a few of my designs but they they can be quite harsh I think as rugs go we could they the sims I think could really work on the the, the rugs that they have I think that um you know, there are so many different cool rug designs that they could be doing. And uh, I think, you know, the Latin ones, well, they're great. And I'm so glad that we have them. I'm really interested to see where Sims go with, with the rug designs that they have. Then we've got just another little walkway into um, what is the actual um, master bedroom, which is, you know, you've got your cactus in there, which I hardly ever use cactus and I love them. I've got to use them more. It's just, um, it's one of those things I always forget to use them, but I love them in this room. And I've got the wooden bed with the hot pink bedspread there because I feel like those those colors really resonate in in this house I think it kind of really picks up with the pinky um uh rugs that we have over here as well as like the terracotta feel of it I think it kind of is it's nice and rustic it feels very sort of like um it feels very on purpose like I, I feel like there's quite a nice general theme going around this this beautiful house up here um and I just love the fact that it's, it's it is it's on stilts it's just like there's none of no living area or no living space downstairs it's all just kind of like the outside patio area um so you don't you need to go upstairs to um to to sort of be inside um and then what I'm going to do really quickly is pop the roof on so you guys can have a look of what it looks like with the roof on and here we go see there's the windows there that look down onto the pool from the kitchen and I just I love this house I just think it's I don't know I think it's just really good I really like the um the corrugated iron I sort of had the idea that it could have been like an old warehouse that they've kind of hollowed out in the middle and put a pool in um, and made made the bottom bottom part of it um you know sort of like a patio section but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um please you know use this design in your own sims if you if you like it feel free to to kind of you know use it as, as an inspiration because you know obviously I've used the inspiration from somebody else on Pinterest I think it's it's the great thing about our sims community is that you know we like to build on on each other's work and really kind of encourage each other which is you know I love our sims community Community. I think it's great. Um, another thing is, you know, follow me on Instagram. I'm simsfreeplay 
Design Heaven. Subscribe to my page if you like this because you I'll be putting out more um, videos of all my house designs so that you can kind of get a get a look at them, have a bit of a tour, as well as any quests and things like that and tips that I might might come up with later down the track. And then if you like this video, just press the thumbs up button down the bottom um, and, and tell me that you like it. If you want to leave me any comments in the comment section as well, please feel free to do so and tell me what you want to see. What do you want to see from my town? Um, do you want me to put tutorials up? You know, have a think about it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.